After dominating their region and tearing through EMEA on their way to the Challengers Playoffs Finals, Supermassive Blaze are a surprise contender to lift the Masters Berlin Trophy. This could be just a full retake, especially with that lockdown online. Let's try and clear them out the back of the side. Cold Amenta's fighting for it, trying to deny it, and he's doing a decent job of it as well, but the lockdown's still in play. They might actually get detained, and it's dead, is he? It's just gone huge. It's going to get stuck in the mud. It's left all onto Kellogg's to try and fight this back in the 1v2 for survival. Having only formed at the start of Stage 3, Supermassive have a roster of Turkish stars taken from five top teams. These players competed against each other at regional events time and time again, before banding together under one roof. But Supermassive's capstone piece came in the form of Pora, the team captain who played a key role in Team Heretic's early triumphs as they were crowned European First Strike champions and SMB's star IGL led his new team to Masters 3 in a blaze of glory. It's all down to the retake now. How does this look? It's got to be Pora being pivotal here, and that's a good start, but they need that next step towards the side, and that's going to help Killers. Predicted, readable, CNED's vision now limited. Izzy's already found Zeke, and he's in trouble. Yeah, this is brilliant from SMB. This retake is something else. Rising to the top in Turkey, Supermassive Blaze have only suffered two losses in their home region since their inception, and one of those came in their first outing. Since then, the squad have been on a tear, taking down top teams and quickly establishing themselves as the best team Turkey has ever seen. Their dominant run earned them the first seed at the EMEA Challengers playoffs, as Supermassive made short work of Europe's best teams, dropping only a single map on their path to the Grand Finals. Supermassive's success was down to their aggressive playstyle that smothered their European opponents. Posturing assertively on defense and playing for early executes on attack led to Supermassive taking games in dominant fashion. Yeah, well, first of all, the spike's left it's behind here, back. so this, this is gonna be a very slow... Oh, oh well. <laughs> You're not gonna be a showstopper in this situation. Good kill. Standing. Spike picked up. Spike, Spike dropped. Down. B. Look at the firing squad. But SMB's explosion onto the scene wouldn't be possible without the leadership of Pora. A top tier Sentinel player, Pora's lurking is the best Europe has to offer, as he regularly catches opponents unaware, laying down devastating flanks that turn the tide in his team's favor. Recon's coming over, Spam can come through and catch them as they go back on out, but Pora's pushing oh. right on up into their faces. That's gonna be the lockdown destroyed, and now it's only Goldamenta, his head taken clean off to give four kills for Pora and five rounds for Supermassive Blaze. And Pora's impact isn't just seen on the scoreboard, but also in SMB's stellar macro. When he's not making a massive outplay, Pora calls out positions and movements that give the rest of his team a chance to shine. With players who can carry in every role, shutting down Supermassive proved to be a difficult task for teams throughout playoffs. Fraggers, Izzy and Russ dominated in the early rounds, with impressive first blood rates and Turco proved to be a clutch demon on Sage with a delicious 30% clutch rate. As Turco tries to find one on the play back in, gonna look for Shados first, gets him. Heel comes in, he's got himself no a little way, bit Turco. situated. Oh, Turco somehow slicing them into just manageable pieces. But Supermassive's streak of success came to a screeching halt in the grand finals against Gambit. After dominating the opening map 13-1, the CIS gods came up with a way to topple SMB. Countering SMB's early round aggression with aggressive players of their own, Izzy and Russ couldn't find those opening duels. Without their fast executes and blitzing style of play, SMB were dead in the water. Izzy this time better equipped as well. Up to hand, TP heard, it's all his, waiting. Patiently, no, a red guard rips off his face. He's just diving in towards the site. He's seen another. Here's the flash, he knows they're both CT. This could be red guards. Another, a shot. Red it's only he's got it, red guard. Now, the likes of Sentinels, 100 Thieves, and Gambit have taken the spotlight off Supermassive. But they'll have another chance to impress, with the second international LAN fast approaching. Slotting into the tournament's group of death, Supermassive will need to outperform Vision Strikers and Ascend to make it to the elimination stage. And if they're to find success, Pora will need to improve his squad's ability to play the patient game. If Supermassive can learn to pivot between playing a slow game and their standard high tempo approach, this all Turkish squad have all the tools to escape their group of death and even challenge for the title. 
Masters Berlin will be the perfect chance for SMB to prove that Turkey will be a key player in the future of Valorant. Check out these videos for more Valorant content.